the World Poker Tour lands in Australia with the WPT Deep Stack Series at Sydney Star Casino. With over 2,000 entrants for the main event and a prize pool of $2.7 million, some of the world's best poker players jeweled it out to be the WPT Deep Stacks champion. Among the 3,000 entrants will be Kieran Francis, a slightly overweight Melbourne-based sports editor who works at the Sporting News. He has little to none live poker experience, but has played a little bit of cash poker online. His experience will pale in significance to the many world-class players competing at the WPT Deep Stacks main event. Can he shock and make it deep in the tournament? Ma 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 poker face, ma ma poker face, na 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 na. Or will he bomb out in embarrassing fashion? Well, it's my first live poker tournament and the key is just gonna be survival. Uh, I'm not gonna go out there and try to do anything fancy. And in reality, I'm gonna be out of my depth. But I'm gonna go out there and give it a red hot crack and see how I go. So it's been nearly two hours and I'm still not sitting on the tables yet. Because I was a late entrant, I've got to wait until 179 people get knocked out before I get on. Hopefully I'll be on in the next 30 minutes or so, but the blinds have gone up already probably four or five levels, so I'm not going to have many big blinds to play with. It's going to be push, all in, or fold pretty much, and let's hope I get a bit of luck. Pocket aces in the first few hands, that would definitely be alright. Fingers crossed. So I've survived the first break. Um, it wasn't the pocket aces, but I had the luck that I needed. I got pocket nines and hit a set on the flop. Um, I raised on the flop and pushed out a guy with a flush draw. The flush actually would have come in on the turn. And then I jammed on the turn, even though the flush did come in and uh, my opponent flipped over top pair. So doubled up, being comfortable. Um, it's a different vibe. Uh, you got to handle the chips instead of playing online with the cuckoo and the pot sizes, but feeling confident, doing all right. Let's hope it keeps going. So I've made it through to another break. Um, it was a fairly eventful session. I uh, had pocket aces first to act. Decided to limp um, at an aggressive table. Massive mistake. Um, four people limped behind. Went to a flop with aces. Queen 7-7, seven, seven, small bet. Three people folded, one guy called, he had the queen, and then a queen rolled off in the turn. Uh, went check, check, good check by him. Um, and then I, I checked to go on the river, hoping to get to showdown, but he dropped 10K in and uh, I called because there was the hearts bluff out there, so I had to call. So basically, uh, I managed to get about 10K back, so I'm at 40K at the last break. Just gotta survive about two more hours. So I can do it, but it's gonna be tough. So that's it, curtains. Uh, I got really short, uh, short stack, the blinds going up. I was only about 45 minutes away from making it to the end through to day two, which would have been a magnificent effort. But I had pocket fives and I had to push all in. Got called by King Jack, which means I was a slight favorite to win pre-flop and uh, King came on the flop and that's curtains. So it's been a great experience. Uh, played for about five hours. Um, only made one mistake with the pocket ace, which I mentioned earlier. Come to the WPT Deep Sacks in Gold Coast in, in June and uh, you'll have a magnificent time. Oh,